This is a response video to David's Farms how to remove scratches from your car's clear coat. In the video he did not too long ago, he used a wet dry sandpaper method. I have here a 2000 grit to sand down scratches in the clear coat. And then he used a polish compound to bring the shine back out after he was done. Well, I got a 1999 Pontiac Grand Am here that has a lot of them. I was gonna do the 2000 Town and Country since it was really similar to his Dodge Caravan, but this car's got darker paint, it's easier to see, and frankly, it's a lot worse. As you can see, it's got a lot of scratches on the ends here, especially on the top. And back here is really bad. It's just where it's been neglected and everything. Let me take a picture of it real quick so it's a little bit better resolution. Now I just need to get my supplies together and pull this car around and then we'll get started and see how it does. Alright, I have everything set up and ready to go. Instead of doing this by hand, I'm going to use my DeWalt variable speed buffer and compounding pad. I have a couple various sponges for the wax and the polish after that. And I have, I have the compound, McGuire's Professional Series, McGuire's Cleaner Wax, and then the final wax is the McGuire's NXT 2.0. I have various wet dry sandpaper soaking in water. It's been soaking for about 15 minutes now. I'm going to use this top portion. The other ones get a little bit grittier towards the bottom. You never know what you'll need, but you don't, like Dave said, you don't want to grind it too much because you can easily take the clear coat off and then you run into a little bit bigger problems than you would have hoped. So first off, I'm going to take a hose and I'm going to wet the affected area. I'm going to try to keep water on it the whole time while you're doing wet sanding. Take my piece of sandpaper, like I said, this is the 2000 grit. And then just work the affected area in one motion. And if you see green coming off, or whatever color your car's paint is, and that's not good, you're sanding too much. All right, it's about all the sanding I'm gonna do for that. Because like I said, you don't wanna go too deep. As you can see, you have all the white residue from sanding the clear coat. There's no green residue or anything like that. This is completely normal. Now what you want to do when you have this is go ahead and rinse it all off. Then maybe wipe it clean with a towel then you can see it afterwards. Now after I wiped off all the water and residue you can see that the body panel is very pale and that's completely normal. You just put a whole bunch of fine line scratches in it with that sandpaper. Next you're going to take the buffer or use some elbow grease to get that out with the compound and you can easily tell what areas I did sand and did not sand. Just sand all that's necessary. You don't want it to go too overboard. So next step is the buff, the compounding and or buffing. All right, I got my buffer here and my compound. I'm gonna put just a tiny little bit on, maybe the size of a dime. Get it set up. You wanna be very careful, especially when using a buffer, even on plastic. It's very easy to burn the paint, so don't keep it on one spot too long. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down first. And 
you will need to apply more compound as needed. already tell the shine is coming back out. I'm going to go ahead and finish the buff and the rest of this and then check out the final product and wax it. So now that the compounding is done, you can see pretty much all of the scratches came out. Now, I'm going to take this sponge and my cleaner wax and go over it a time or two with that. And move it in circular patterns, just wax it just like you would any regular paint. Alright, well I already wiped off all of the cleaner wax, so I'm going to take my NXT wax and apply a final coat of that. So after letting this sit for about 15 minutes or so, it's about time to get wiped off. So, moment of truth, let's see how it turns out. Very nice. worked fantastic. I mean this car has about a 139,000 miles or so on it and it's been hit on this side that's why I had all the scratches so it's not going to be perfect but my goodness it's pretty close. Let's insert a couple pictures in there for better resolution. So yeah, great job, Dave. Works out perfect.